everyone, it's Gina from orchidandopal.com and I am back today with another tutorial. And for this project, we're gonna be making one of these bracelets. I've got a bunch of different examples here below and they are made using the two hole check glass rula beads along with some three millimeter fire polish and 15 seed beads. You can find everything you need at Eureka Crystal Beads and I will link to everything that I'm using right down below the video as well as list everything out. And they've got tons of different colors, especially in these Rula beads that are a newer addition to their online store. You can substitute other things for the Rula beads, other similar size two hole beads, such as perhaps half tilas. So don't be afraid to experiment with that. And I also have several different examples of how you can end this particular bracelet, including using wire guards, as you see on some of them, and then a couple of different symbol metallic bead and findings. And these are the ones I'll be using today from Eureka Crystal Beads. They come in these multi-packs and I saw that they had silver and gold available. So I'll link to these specific ones and we are going to sew these right into the end of our bracelet. It gives the beadwork a nice finished edge. Just as you can see with this example in the purple variety. For beading thread today, I'll be using the six pound test 0 0.006 inch diameter fire line in the black color so it's easier for you to see. And I'll be using a size 11 beading needle. You should be fine with a 10, 11 or size 12 for this project. And you will probably need to add some thread as you go along. I like to start with about a wingspan because that's what's comfortable for me. And we'll just go until we need to add more. But for right now, what you can do is gather up your materials, thread your beading needle, and we will jump into this tutorial. For our very first step, we'll only be using the Rula beads, and we're gonna pick up four of them and pull them down towards our tail thread. Leave yourself about a six inch tail. You'll be weaving that back in later. And you're welcome to use a stop bead if you'd like to. I'm just going to keep going and I'll show you where I make a little half hitch knot to keep things secure enough as I go. So I have my four rule of beads on my thread and just have them turned all the same way like this. And then take your needle and sew back through the same four holes of those beads. Bringing these together in a loop and then go through one more rule of bead. There we go. And these will lay better as we get through this pattern. For now, they might flip around a little bit, but if you were to straighten them out, they should look like this. And I like to make a single half hitch knot. I'm gonna go right under the thread bridge in between those next two rule of beads, and then go through the loop and Pull. You don't have to pull this super tight. This is just to get us started, and you want to be able to lay the beads flat like this. And once you've made a knot, you can then sew through the next rule of bead, the same hole that you had gone through before. And you can see now that I am coming out of this hole, and I'll refer to that as the inner hole of the design. And we want to step out and sew up through the outer hole of that same rule of bead. Now we're gonna pick up another rula, pull this down to your work, take a minute to straighten that out, and I want it to sit sort of in a brick formation with the open hole that's on this right side of the beadwork. I'm currently coming up out of the left-hand hole. I'm gonna sew down through that open hole of the new tila that we just added. So now you should have this in place. And now we're gonna pick up two more rule of beads. Once again, pull those towards your work. And with this section, this bead is going to sit like this, staggered to the one we had just added. And then the one at the bottom, I'm flipping this over. It's going to sit just like this. I'm coming out of the right hand hole and I'm going to go up through the open hole on the left and also catch the next two ruler beads above that. 
So we're laying the foundation of our bracelet right now. And we are going to create a sequence of the little plus sign here and then the little stacked brick area and alternate those the entire length of our bracelet before we come back in and do any embellishing with our seed beads and fire polish. Now for our next step, we're gonna sew down through that same ruler bead through the other hole and then sew through the next ruler bead but don't go down through that third one at the bottom because we're going to step over and out through the open hole of that ruler bead that's in the center to continue with our beadwork. And now connected onto this ruler, we're gonna pick up three new ones, pull those down, and we're gonna go back through the same hole of the ruler bead that we're coming out of and pull those together so that they will sit like that. So we have our next little plus sign section and we need to sew through the bottom hole of the next two ruler beads to make our way to this end of the beadwork. So I'm gonna go through the second ruler there. And then finally, we wanna exit up and out of the open hole of the ruler at the end. So I'm gonna go up through that open hole. And this is now what we have. Once again, after I've laid everything out, these aren't gonna to wanna to sit exactly straight yet. So if they're not doing that for you, you're not doing anything wrong, it's gonna take some extra steps for this to all lay nice and flat and come together. So now it's a matter of repeating what we had just done to create this section, which was to pick up a ruler bead and bring it down. Gonna sit like this, and we're gonna go down through the open hole of that same one we just added. and pull that to your beadwork. Now pick up two new ruler beads. And turn that one so it's going this way and then this one at the bottom is gonna sit this way. And like we did before, we're gonna go up through the three ruler beads, just like that. Now to get to this end of our beadwork again, we're gonna go down through the next two ruler beads, and then sew up through the open hole of that one that we just came out of. There we go. So once again, we'll repeat this step to make our next little plus sign section, picking up three ruler beads, sewing up through the same hole of the ruler bead that we just exited, bringing those beads together, and then we need to sew through the next two ruler beads. Going through those. And then sewing up through the open hole of our ruler bead on the right. So keep repeating those two steps to create the alternating sections of ruler beads, and you can make this as long as you'd like to. For the example piece that I'm making, it's gonna be about seven and a half inches long with the clasp. So I'm gonna repeat those two sections, I believe about nine more times. I'm gonna have a total of about 12 of these plus sign sections. And keep in mind that it will start to tighten up a little bit as you go. So the length will become a little bit shorter as we continue on with the bracelet. So back up the video if you need to at this point to keep going with this ruler bead section. And once you are done with that and have the length that you want, we will meet back and continue on with the next steps. All right, everyone, welcome back. You should have something that looks similar to this at this point. 
and you can notice that I have woven my tail thread back into my beadwork a little bit and secured that off. That way it's out of the way for the video. And I've pulled in my 15-0 seed beads and my fire polish beads because we're going to be using those next. And we're going to be making several passes back and forth over the top of our foundation to add the extra beadwork on top of these ruler beads. I'm going to turn my beadwork like this so it's a little bit easier for me at this point. And right now I am coming out of the inner hole of this ruler bead at the very end of the bracelet. You can see I ended this section with one of those plus sign areas. And we're going to add a 15 0 in between each of these ruler beads at the end. So picking one up, going through the inner hole of the next bead in that section. We'll pick up another one and then sew through the inner hole of the next ruler bead. And we'll do that two more times. So picking one up, going through the inner hole of the next one, pulling that together, and then picking up our fourth one and going back through the ruler bead and now also sewing through the first 15 that we added. So now we have those in place. And when we're coming out of this 15 0, we'll pick up five more 15 0s and then sew through the 15 0 that is diagonal to the one that you're coming out of and head in the direction towards your other 15 0 in that corner. We're going to make a little X over the top of this section. And we've got half of that done. And now coming out of this 15 0, we'll pick up two 15 0s. Then sew through the third or the center 15 0 that you had added in that section before. We're going to finish off this side of our X, pick up two more 15 O's, and now sew through the 15 O in the open corner, and I'm sewing back through towards the end of my bracelet. And when we pull that tight, you can see we have that X shaped design over top of the rulers. That's also going to help to keep our base nice and straight and strengthen everything out as we go. Now I actually don't want to be coming out of this 15 -0. I just want to be coming out of the inner hole of the ruler bead itself at this point. And that's because we're going to step out to this outer hole, the open hole of that same ruler bead. Now starting to head in the other direction towards the rest of our beadwork. And at this point, we're going to pick up a fire polish, then sew down through this series of three ruler beads. So we place that right there. We're going to do the same thing on the other side. Pick up a fire polish. This time go through the open hole of the ruler bead on this side. And now you have this. Now we just need to make our way through our beadwork. So follow your thread path. I'm going to go through the inner hole of that same ruler bead. I did go through the 15 0 that time, and I'm just weaving back and forth through these holes, going up through these two rulers now, and then down through these three, just like that. And at this point, we're going to add in two more fire polish beads just like we did before, but in this open section, and also two more in the next section. So for now, pick up one more fire polish bead and sew through the open hole of the next ruler bead. And you can do that again. Pick up a fire polish. This time, go through that sequence of three ruler beads, all those holes that are lining up, 
pick up another fire polish, go through the open hole of the rule of bead on this side, pick up another fire polish, and now go down through the sequence of three rule of beads on this side and pull. So that's what we have so far, and we need to create that little X pattern over the four rule of beads in this new section. So to do that, let's go through our next fire polish and rule of bead. Then step down into that inner hole of that same rule of bead. And just like we did before, add a 15 0 in between each of the rule of beads in this section of four. Pick up a bead, sew through the next. Pick up a bead and sew through the next. And we have our fourth one. And we're going to go through the rule of bead and the first 15 0 that we added. And now, just like before, we'll pick up five of our 15 O's and connect that side with the diagonal section across the way, go through the ruler and the next 15 O. Now pick up two 15 O's, go through that center or third seed bead in the group of five. And then two more 15 O's to finish this X and go through the 15 O in this direction and just through the rule of bead. So that's another section done, and we just need to once again follow our thread path and our beads to move forward to repeat these steps. So now I'm coming out of this fire polish and I'll continue down through those three rulers that we get to next. And go down through the next holes of the next three ruler beads. And this is where you're going to repeat what we just did all the way down to the other side of your beadwork. So just back up the video once again if you need to. This is the part where we will be picking up with our fire polish and adding one into these four sections, followed by another X of 15 O's. So keep going. We'll meet back at that last plus sign section on the other side. Keep in mind you may need to add some more thread as you go. So I may do that before I meet you back. But once we get to that last plus sign, I'll see you there and meet you back with the next steps. And welcome back. We are now at our last section, and I'm coming out of this rule of bead right at this hole. And I'm going to finish up this section by picking up a fire polish, sewing through the outer hole of that next rule. Then I'm going to step inward or down into the inner hole of that rule of bead. Then I'm going to sew through the next two. And then with this one, I'm going to turn around going the other way so we can put in our last fire polish right there. And I'm going to go down through those three rule of beads just like that. And we need to make our final X over top of those four rulers. So I'm just going to continue through the fire polish and rule of bead. Then step into that inner hole, add our four 15 O's like we have been doing. Going through that Rula and 15 O, and then picking up the five to start our X pattern. Heading back this way, picking up two, and going through that third bead, 
picking up our final two and then heading back through this way, just through the 15-0 and the rula bead. And now I'm going to step outward to the outer hole of that rula. There we go. And I'm gonna show you how you can end this bracelet using those special symbol endings. So I've grabbed one here and we're gonna sew this right in by first picking up two of our 15 O's and then going through the bottom hole of this ending. Next, we'll pick up three of our 15 O's. Sew up through the outer hole of that ruler bead that's on the end. Pick up three more 15 O's. This time, sew through the top hole of the ending. Then pick up two more 15 O's and sew through the next ruler and fire polish. And that is how you sew this in place. And I'm just going to go around this section one more time to reinforce it a little bit. So back down through the ruler beads I go and then through the fire polish and that ruler, then followed by the seed beads and down through the section of beads and also catching that ending and over. And you wanna be coming out of the fire polish bead for our next step. So that is one ending on. We'll put the other one on when we get back to that side of the bracelet. For now, what we're gonna do is create one more sort of larger X pattern in these open areas. And coming out of that fire polish, we're gonna first pick up four of our 15 O's, followed by a fire polish and four more 15 O's. So with that strung on, you can pull that down. And then you're gonna look over at this next section and sew through the opposite fire polish, rula, and fire polish. Make sure those beads sit on top. We're gonna to do this in two steps. So in one step, we're gonna have our cross hatches going in one direction, and then in the other step, we will complete them by going in the opposite. So now we're coming out of this fire polish. And we're going to just repeat the same thing all the way down, picking up four 15 O's, one fire polish, and four 15 O's. Now looking at our next section, so through the opposite, fire polish, rula, and fire polish bead. And there's your next cross hatch right there. And we'll do one more together. Picking up four 15 O's, one fire polish, and four 15 O's. And this time we'll go through the beads right down here. So that is zigzagging its way to the other side of our bracelet. And I will meet you back once we get to that section so we can add on our other symbol ending and then go back and finish our piece. All right, so from here now, we can add our other ending. And just like we did before, we'll pick up two of our 15 O's coming out of the upper hole of that rula bead. And this time, I'll go down through the top of that ending pick up three of our 15 O's, then sew through the outer hole of that rula, pick up three 15 O's, and then sew through the bottom of the ending. And then finish this up with two 15 O's. And I'll sew through the rula bead, and the next fire polish. And I'm gonna go around that section again one more time 
to reinforce that area. So I'm just going to follow my beads back to the beginning of that section. And down through the ending and those last few beads and then exit out of the rula and the fire polish down at the bottom. And now we're gonna go back and do the other side of our X's and that is going to wrap it up. So first we'll pick up four of our 15 O's and this time we're gonna cross through the fire polish bead that's in the center of that previous section. Pick up four 15 O's and then sew through the next fire polish, rula and fire polish bead in the opposite section. So just crossing back through what we already did. Again, pick up four 15 O's, cross through the fire polish bead, pick up four more 15 O's, and then this time we'll go through this fire polish, rula and fire polish bead. And you'll continue to do that all the way down to the other side of your bracelet. And at that point, we will meet back. So here is our completed bracelet. I was going to do the knots and finish that off with you all, but I ended up with the tiniest little scrap of thread at the end. I just had to go ahead and finish that up. And simply added on a couple of jump rings and a toggle clasp to finish up this bracelet. Don't forget you can find all the materials that you need in all sorts of different colors at Eureka Crystal Beads with all the links and the quantities and everything listed down below. You can check the corresponding blog post for specific colors used in these other examples. Just allow me a little bit of time to get that information posted after the video goes up. I want to thank you so much for being here with me. I love having you. And if you decide to give this a try, I'd love to hear about it. Feel free to leave a comment down below. Give the video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And feel free to share this tutorial with your other beading friends. That's all I have for now, but I will see you all again real soon. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. And as always, happy beading. Mm -hmm.